Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay welcome back so uh, what we were discussing that is about national income accounting no oh, a country uh, enter nation's income okay how we can combine those and certain terminologies we have come across if you can remember right gdp gross domestic product okay and associated so many terminologies okay value addition okay double counting multiple counting okay and those things we have clarified with different kinds of examples and all right so today uh, today we will discuss the components of gdp we will uh, take an example also how to calculate that gdp real gdp versus nominal gdp that we have we have clarified what is the difference between real gdp and nominal gdp and in that context we brought a concept like uh, which is called gdp deflator right which we told that that gdp deflator if you see that gdp deflator series for a country over time say 2000 2001 2002 this kinds of alternative years okay that will give some sort of representation relative position representation of the relative position of overall price level okay what is prevailing within that country overall price level means not necessarily price of a particular commodity rather all the goods and services whatever are produced within that country Okay, the price level of the entire goods and services basket of that country, how that is changing from one period to another, that kind of one overall picture you can see from the GDP deflator series. If you see that GDP deflator series, right, and whichever as we told, whichever the base year, suppose we are considering 2004 as the base period or base year. Okay, so if that is the case, you will see that. Uh, GDP deflator values that uh, against that 2004 it is value is 100 and different other years it is uh, uh, mostly in the later years mostly more than 100 and earlier year mostly less than 100 because usually over time prices has a tendency to uh, prices have a tendency to increase over time you know that is why but that uh, that does not mean that it will always increase it can happen that say uh, last year's what was the price level, this year's price level is little, little bit false, okay. That can happen. In fact, in fact, during the Great Depression, I, I am sure that many of you heard about Great Depression. Great Depression, it happens in uh, world economy, entire uh, economy of the entire world during 1930s, 1929, 30, that time, okay. And many people used to tell that, that Great Depression is actually uh, an effect okay, on, on implication of the Spanish flu. If you people know like now corona is going on, no? so corona came in 2019 that is why it is called COVID-19, right? Exactly 100 years back 1919, 1919 similar one worldwide pandemic was there called Spanish flu. Okay? So, many people tell that this great depression in 1929-30 when it happens actually it is a implication of this kind of uh, Spanish flu. But forget about that thing, why I am bringing that because during this great depression right. See in fact in United States economy whatever overall price level was there in 1929 that is the initial year of the great depression okay, initial year say great depression actually started 1928, 29, 30 that time okay. And nine since say uh, 35 or 34 or 33 ok. So, 1933. So, in United States of America ok overall price level of the, in the entire e economy entire country actually it falls roughly 25 percent between these two years. So, whatever price level if price level whatever was in 1929 if you make that as if that is equals to 100 ok. So, in 1933 whatever the overall price level in that economy prevails that was roughly around 75. So, overall price level in US economy falls roughly 25 percent ok from 1929 to 33 and that is the effect of uh, depression. So, when depression what is depression? 
depression is basically economic activity no level of economic activity economy wide activities that is coming down ok like what happened in uh, when corona first came right lockdown factories are stopped educational institutes are stopped uh, means all are closed down no whatever the products productive uh, activities related all the institutions and organizations right all are uh, closed so as a result overall uh, production activity within the entire country falls as a result total production is also falling and if you see that perhaps uh, growth rate of many countries during say 1929 uh, 2019 to 2019 to 2020 that growth rate is negative growth rate is negative means what real gdp what was in 2019 actually falls in 2020 okay that is why growth rate is negative okay so anyway so growth rate how to calculate growth rate is basically suppose 2019 real GDP is say denoted by y1 and 2020 real GDP is denoted by y2. So, growth rate from 19 or uh, growth rate of 2020 over the year 2019 is basically y2 minus y1 change in the real GDP as a percentage over what was the y1 GDP over what is the proportional change this sometimes into 100 when that growth rate is measured into percentage this is growth rate ok this is basically growth rate ok. So, if this is negative if this growth rate is negative means what this is some amount of GDP some positive value is there right. So, that means this thing is negative ok that means what 2020 whatever the GDP value ok that becomes lower than what was the GDP value in 2019 as a result this new monitor y 2 minus y 1 become negative as a result growth rate is negative right. So, that is the thing. So, that is the thing. Uh, so, what I was telling. So, it is not that although it is usually observed that price level have a tendency to increase over time, but that is not the always the that is not the case certain cases like particularly if there is a depression and all sometimes price level falls also in fact this is the situation in United States of American economy ok in 29 to 33 that time what happened in overall price level. In any case so what we are discussing so uh, let us first uh, uh, introduce uh, or clarify rather gross domestic product or no, GDP is full form what is the meaning of that domestic. Okay. What are the components, how to calculate and everything we have clarified no market values okay, of all produced goods and services or final production of goods and services in that way no within a time period the time period we told usually a one year sometimes it can be a quarter it can be month also as you wish how to cal how to calculate or how to measure say GDP of India in say December 2020. Uh, so, it is a particular month, so it is a monthly GDP. Similarly, say third quarter of 2019-2020 uh, financial year like that. So, it is a quarterly GDP. So, usually these kinds of different uh, time period within which GDP is calculated most of the time it is a year, but sometimes it is quarterly monthly also is calculated ok. You need not memorize you can understand ok. If you ca calculate quarterly GDP which particular uh, time point you have to concentrate on or you have to uh, take into account the production activities of which particular time point ok. If it is monthly which particular time point, if it is yearly which particular time point and so on. So, you can you can easily uh, easily do that ok. So, what is the special uh, significance of domestic gross domestic product no the domestic domestic significance then within a country we told that within a country means within the domestic boundary of a country or geographical border of a country ok within that whatever activities are going on ok that is called GDP. Now, why I am clarifying that this will be quite clear now when we will go to discuss components of GDP. Okay. What are the components of GDP? Let us discuss components of GDP, components of GDP gross domestic product. Okay. What are those? So, usually GDP is denoted by Y and Y it has four components and usually denoted by C, I, 
g n x n x is basically export minus import. Okay. So, what are the components of GDP? C, C is basically so total GDP is this, it has four components, one component is this, another is this, another is this, another is this, this four components, right. Fourth component is basically a combination of total export minus import. So, fourth component is actually a combination of two components. Okay. So, you in that way also you can tell the five components are there. Okay. C plus I plus G plus say export minus import. So, in that way you can write uh, five components. Okay. Now, what are each of those? So, these five components they are to totality is basically called GDP denoted by Y. Okay. What is the C? C is basically private consumption expenditure. C is private consumption expenditure private consumption expenditure, private consumption expenditure by private what we are referring by private we are referring all the households. So, we are whatever activity is happening within the country we are clubbing them, un, them under two broader heads one is private another is government. Okay. This G is basically government expenditure, uh, it is counterpart G is basically government expenditure, government expenditure or you can more specifically tell go government consumption expenditure. I am coming what are those okay, uh, which expenditure actually uh, uh, belongs to that government consumption expenditure I am coming to that. So, the private consumption expenditure is basically uh, in a country so many households are there right. So, whatever their consumption expenditure all the households that is called private consumption expenditure okay. say I have, I have a family okay. we are purchasing certain food items, certain cloth items, maybe some fuel items okay, gas. Uh, cooking gas for uh, cooking at my home, then uh, say gasoline or petroleum to drive my car or scooter two wheeler like that right. So, all these kinds of whatever expenditure I am doing that is my households or my family's consumption expenditure. In that way all the private parties whatever is there which are other than the government uh, entity. Okay. All this consumption expenditure if you uh, amalgamate or if you combine all those together this C private consumption expenditure. One exception is there purchasing of new housing. Okay. Say suppose I am I am purchasing a new flat, okay. it is an house right. Uh, say I, I am spending some money for that maybe 70 lakh rupee or 80 lakh rupee right. So, that kind of thing. So, that is also my expenditure, okay. but that expenditure is although it is an housing consumption or housing purchase. right? it is not a consumption expenditure rather that is a part of investment expenditure because this housing see when I am purchasing food right. But as for today tomorrow maybe maximum one month or something like that sometime, but how this new housing when we are purchasing right that is perhaps I am I am uh, optimistic that next 100 years I, I will live there. If not me I may not be alive next 100 years my family members my next generation they will live there right. So, it is a large large for the it is so since it will last one one commodity which will last for quite a long time that is why that kind of expenditure we call investment expenditure. Okay. So, private expenditure all kinds of household private household expenditure whatever we are doing okay, those are called consumption expenditure except purchasing of new housing okay. and investment expenditure what is investment? Investment is basically we are spending okay. this investment is basically we are talking about both private as well as public means government both investment expenditures are clubbed within this I. So, private investment expenditure is what say suppose uh, I am I am purchasing say uh, like this house uh, that uh, new house. Okay. So, that is my private investment expenditure. Similarly, say one private company is there okay, organization is there say Tata. Okay. Tata they are uh, inventing or not, not investing to build up a new factory in say Sri Perambodur for their some by a four wheeler car they will. So, so to, uh, to uh, 
construct that uh, structure no or that uh, establishment in Sri Peramudu that factory right huge amount of expenditure is required certain crores of amounts of rupee. Okay. So, that amount is basically investment another private investment expenditure, but it is not a particular family rather an, an organization right. Similarly, government investment expenditure is what say suppose government is making one say bridge across uh, uh, over a river both side of a river government is making a bridge. Okay. So, that that also needs a huge amount of expenditure maybe 2, 3 crore rupees or maybe 100 crore rupees depending on what, what kind of big bridge it is. Right. So, that is another investment expenditure, but that investment expenditure government is doing. Okay. So, government investment expenditure. So, in that way all this both private as well as government investment expenditures are clubbed within I. So, consumption expenditure is one component or more specifically private consumption expenditure is one component of GDP, government or investment expenditure is one component of GDP. I already we have discussed investment expenditure, investment expenditure, okay. it includes both, both private and public, private and uh, public. Public means what is government we are telling that is sometimes referred as public, okay. government means what? Government is not any, uh, any uh, uh, what should I say a specific family's property, right? government is basically you, me, everybody we are paying tax okay? and through that tax income whatever government is gaining revenue, that revenue government is spending for some investment, some consumption expenditure which is we are terming as G and all. So, government consumption expenditure is what? Okay. So, suppose uh, I, I, I am an employee of an educational institute. right? That educational institute is funded by some government, maybe central government, maybe some uh, state government also certain uh, state universities are there no, across different states of India. So, those are mostly funded by the respective state government. right? Similarly, certain central universities are there mostly uh, funded by the central government, union government right? in Delhi that central government. right? So, those I, I am I am I am I am I am an employee of similar uh, one such uh, educational institute so, suppose it is uh, funded by central government. So, it is some sort of government it is funding right. Now, in my office right say suppose there is a meeting today afternoon okay. in that meeting you will see that usually some some replacement kind of thing some tea and some uh, biscuit or some some sort of snacks are are usually uh, given to the all the invitees in the meeting. Right. So, who fund that? Am I, am I spending that amount of money from my pocket? No. You will see that in your office, wherever government office, whatever it is, wherever you are working, okay, government has a budget, I mean, that office has a budget, from that office fund it is purchased okay, and that expenditure is. But, but since that government or the educational institute where I am working, this is funded by the government. Right. So, this money also is coming from the government, government is giving certain money, certain amount of money each month to run that educational institute. Right. So, that kind of expenditure which is essentially consumption expenditure, okay. expenditure behind snacks, okay. essentially a consumption expenditure, but that consumption expenditure none of the individual employees they are spending from their pocket, rather they are spending from the government money only that office funding. Okay, but office fund is coming since it is coming from the government okay, that is why it is government expenditure or go more specifically government consumption expenditure. These things are called government consumption expenditure. Okay. Now, export minus import what is why that is required? Look that is why what is the meaning of domestic I clarified today. Domestic means within the domestic geographical boundary India has a ge geographical boundary right. Within that whatever production activities are uh, occurring through that whatever goods and uh, services are produced they are market value okay, that is the GDP right. So, definitely uh, the commodities which are produced within our domestic boundary, but we are not consuming perhaps we are exporting that to other countries and other countries people are consuming those, those should be a part of our GDP because that is produced within our geographical boundary. That is why export with a positive sign is there. Okay. Now, what is the import? Import is what? 
import is those commodities or those goods or services which we are purchasing from abroad, right? Say Volvo bus, you know that Volvo, there is a company, they produce some cars, okay, four wheelers, bus, this kind of big, big bus also they purchase, right? You know in, in Indian, uh, Indian road, right? Uh, mostly tourist bus and all, those are made by, many of those are made by Volvo company, right? Actually, this Volvo is a Swedish company, a company originated in Sweden, one European country na, called Sweden. So, it is a Swedish company, right. So, definitely Volvo bus uh, which are plying in Indian roads, right, those are imported from Sweden, ok. So, the point is those although we are consuming, right, or say some imported uh, say one pen, right, say or pencil. Uh, say 30, 40 years ago, right, that uh, pencil we, we mostly import from Germany. Now, though it is, it is produced in our country also. So, we mostly uh, still uh, today there is a very, uh, very high quality brand of that uh, pencil. Uh, I cannot exactly remember now, usually painter, no, they used to use that branded pencil, okay, very high quality pencil that is a German company. So, that pencil I am using here, but it is produced within Germany, right. So, definitely whichever I am consuming here, but it is not produced within the country that should not be a part of this country's GDP, where I am consuming this should not be a part of India's GDP, right. That is why we have to minus import. So, import is appearing in GDP, okay, with a negative sign, okay. So, we should add our the all the market value of our export because those are produces within, those are produced within our country, okay. That is why those are positively contributing to our GDP and we have to uh, subtract all the imported things or market valuation of the all the imported goods and services because those are not produced within our country, those are produced some other country and for our consumption purpose we are purchasing from those countries, okay. So, these five things are called components of GDP and each of those components I have clarified what is referred to what, ok. Now, this GDP, ok, this GDP uh, gross domestic product. So, in national income accounting, two terminologies you will come across, one is called gross, another is called net. So, gross domestic product, so suppose we are going GDP, its counterpart NDP will be there, net domestic product. So, what is that? The gross domestic product, what is that? We, are, we have already clarified, what is the definition? Net is basically gross minus depreciation, depreciation that will be called net. What is depreciation? Depreciation usually of capital goods, ok. We are investing, right? So, suppose uh, I am investing in, uh, say, I have a factory, I am investing in a uh, sophisticated machine which I will run, uh, which I will use to produce the commodity what I am producing in my factory, right? That machine will not last for next thousand years or so, no. Every machine has some uh, lifetime, right? So, suppose this machine where I am investing, okay, that machine will uh, last uh, next, say, 20 years. Okay. And say suppose that machine cost is 1 crore rupee, suppose. Okay. So, roughly uh, per year this uh, machine actually depreciates of on an average of course, 5 crore rupees kind of thing, right. Because after 20 years this 1 crore valuation of uh, machine will not be there because yes it will be there, but it will be perhaps it will be a junk. Okay. It will not be at all a machine to produce the goods uh, uh, for which you are using that machine, right. So, what we have to do ideally uh, to ma maintain a good accounting, accounting of that thing every year we will keep aside on an average say uh, rupees say uh, 5 lakh, rupees 5 lakh on an average every year we will keep aside. What is the objective? Objective this year 5 lakh, next year 5 lakh in that way if we keep and if this machine lasts for 20 years, after 20 years this, this money what we are keeping 5 lakh, 5 lakh every year, right? After 20 years it will be accumulated to 1 crore. So, that time what is my existing machine? It will no longer be uh, productive, 
right. So, I have to uh, uh, replace that machine. So, with this amount of money, I can purchase a new machine again. Okay. So, that is why this rupees 5 lakh. So, what we are we are uh, we are conceptualizing? We are conceptualizing this one machine as if this machine's 5 lakh rupees valuation is dying out every year on an average because it will last for 20 years. That is why on an average 5 lakhs per year that I am telling. Okay. So, that is the thing that 5 lakh rupee. So, suppose gross domestic product in a country. Okay, one particular time point, time period. Say suppose one particular year. That is say suppose 300 crore rupee. Suppose suppose 300 crore rupee. Eh? And if entire countries all whatever the capital goods are there, machines and all that there, all of them are depreciates. If you combine them all depreciation together, say suppose that is 2 crore rupee per year. So this 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 will be GDP. GDP of that country of that particular time period, this is total depreciation of that country at that particular time period and 298 crore remaining that will be NDP net domestic product. Okay. So, whatever gross production is happening, you are keeping aside depreciation of capital goods outside or separately, so that it will help you as if your products sun base because this machinery those are also some inputs of your production right. You are as if you are trying to keep your production or productive inputs productive resources same level okay, that is the objective. But whatever the objective you I hope that you understood by depreciation what we are referring how much monetary values of a particular machine or a particular capital good is dying out part time period maybe per year or per month whatever it is okay that is called depreciation so net domestic product you will reach by deducting the amount of depreciation from the gross domestic product and this depreciation definitely since gdp and in ndp so entire countries so we have to consider the depreciation for the entire country not a particular machine in a particular fact okay so these are the uh, components and uh, gross and net that thing and how you have to calculate let us take a small example gdp i uh, mean uh, nominal and real that we have told okay with the discussion with the example we have told in the last class so suppose suppose one country is there it is producing only apple and orange only two products nothing else is pro it is producing Okay. And say apple price say, say uh, 2019 and 2020 this 2 years or say 2021 suppose this 3 years. Okay. 2019 it is say apple and orange. So, this is suppose uh, 2 kg and this is suppose 1 kg. This is suppose 3 kg and this is suppose still 1 kg. This is suppose 1.5 kg and this is suppose 4 kg. This is the combination of uh, apple and orange production by that country in this 3 years. It is a small country only producing 2 kg of apple and 1 kg of orange. right? Now, this apple price and orange price is changing may be changing over this uh, time points. So, suppose in 2019 apple price was say 2019 apple price was say apple okay, and orange apple price was say rupees 150 per kg and orange price was say rupees 80 per kg. 2020 that price becomes say apple price becomes rupees 180 per kg and orange price becomes rupees say little bit uh, false suppose. Okay. 2021 apple price rupees say 190 per kg and suppose this is 85 per kg. So, of course, GDP say nominal GDP, nominal GDP means market price of that particular year. So, nominal GDP and real GDP. So, nominal GDP of 2019, 2020, 2021 what it will be? 2019 nominal GDP will be 2 kg per kg this. So, 2 into 150 plus 
1 into 80, whatever that monetary value that much of rupees nominal GDP. 2020, what will be the nominal GDP? 3 into 180, because 2020 market price of apple is 180 per kg. So, 3 into 180 plus 75 into still 1 kg. So, 1 into 75, 1. So, whatever total monetary value that will be the nominal GDP. 2021, what it will be? 1.5 into because that money kg of apple is produced into 190, 190 plus 4 into 85, 85. So, whatever it is that many. So, these whatever some rupees I will reach, some rupees I will reach, some rupees I will reach, these three figures are basically nominal GDP of that country. Now, what is the real GDP of that country? The real GDP when we are talking, so we have to evaluate the entire the consumption or the, the production basket in the constant price, same price. So, suppose when real we are talking, then what is the base period or what is the constant price? Suppose we are assuming that constant price of the price level is 2020. If that is the case, real GDP of 2019 of that country will be 2 into 180 plus 1 into 70, uh, eight, uh, 75. Look, say this production basket 2 or 1, but price level of 2020 only I am considering. That same price level I will consider for 19, 2019 also, for 2020, uh, whatever real GDP that will be the whatever nominal GDP that will be the real GDP, same will be the no, real GDP because the price level of 2020 we are considering as the base period. 2021 it will be 1.5 into 180 plus 4 into 75. Look at here, whatever price level we are considering to capture real GDP of 2019, same this year's market price, 2020 also that year's market price, 2021 also this 2020's market price. Okay? But production basket we are considering respective years, whatever production is. Okay? So, since these market values, whatever total amount of money we will reach, these market values are basically at the same price level, only 2020's price level, this is called real GDP. So, if this is increasing from that, it is increasing from that, we can tell that GDP is expanding in real sense, true sense for that country. Okay? So, this is a small simple example how to calculate real GDP and nominal GDP and GDP deflator also we have told that say 2019's GDP deflator will be this nominal GDP by this real GDP into 100. 2020's GDP depletor will be this by this into 100. Since our base period for the real calculation is 2020, so this figure and this figure will be same into 100. So, that is why that GDP depletor will be 100 for this base period. Here some GDP depletor you will get in general other than 100, here also some GDP depletor you will get in general other than 100. And here what will GDP depletor you will get? It will be this whatever figure you will getting that by this into 100, that is the GDP depletor. And since all this GDP depletor, nominal GDP is the numerator and nominal GDP is changing due to the, that particular year's market price is changing. Okay. So, that is why we can think of that GDP depletor is nothing, but it is it is some sort of relative position of overall price level of that country. Okay. That is why. Okay. Let us stop here and uh, we will discuss that cost of living in the next lecture.